Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology Forecast. This is for Monday, October 21st, 2019. All right, so today we have the moon shifting into Cancer, the uh, constellation of the crab, which is all about creating a protective environment for ourselves and others. Good day for maybe nurturing, caring, getting into the reflective side of ourself, and uh, getting in touch with that inner guidance as well. Um, along with our feelings. So with this theme, we do have Venus trining up to Neptune today, so there could be some receptive energy coming in uh, regarding our relationships, and then maybe just uh, the enjoyments of life, maybe just enjoying a bit of imagination, creativity, going with the flow, and then again, with those, compa uh, with, with those relationships, maybe some compassion, some receptivity, and unconditionality with that. So we are in the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle, which means it is a good part of the month to challenge ourselves. If there were any things that have shifted in your life from about a week ago, when we had the full moon, it is still a great time of implementing this stuff and uh, challenging ourselves to integrate it into our life. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Monday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations, which is different from mainstream astrology. Cancer is a good example because it's a very small constellation. So uh, this does change the signs from mainstream astrology. And so if you do notice that, be sure to check out the link down below for more information. All right, so let's take a look here at uh, the moon's placement, which represents the theme of the day. And in Cancer, the crab. So themes likely around creating that protective environment. This could be a really good time of maybe spending some time at home or with family. Um, anything that, again, helps us connect to that emotional security. And uh, yeah, cultivating things like maybe reflecting on the past, maybe uh, some things coming up from the past. Um, again, getting in touch with our feelings and our bodies and our emotions. Really good to do this um, and, and cultivate this side of ourselves. this caring, nurturing, protective side of ourself when the moon is placed here. And so this does form still a square between the sun and moon. And so we are in the third quarter phase of the lunar cycle, meaning that there is some integration that we can be doing this part of the week. In other words, if there were any things that you became aware of last week, or let's say about a week ago from the full moon, or any shifts you made, from over the past week. It is an excellent part of the week now to implement, to integrate, to challenge ourselves, to maybe take some initiative, whether it's receptive things or active things, and really um, put in that work and, and, and incorporate it into our life. In this way, it becomes very constructive when we're challenging ourselves when these uh, squares are in play. And squares are all about building. It's a lot like Saturn energy of uh, integration there. So this is in the larger context of Virgo, which means it's still a great time of focusing on what can be improved and refined in our life. The uh, Sun and Mars are still here in Virgo, so really good to do this. We could be taking action in a way still that is towards improvement and refinement and doing the work and again focused on these things with the Sun. Now we do have a bit more air energy this week than we did last week and this is because Mercury and Venus are now in balancing Libra. So when it comes to our relationships and our values, we're likely starting to value a little bit more of wanting balance in our life and maybe in relationships having some mutuality, reciprocity, agreements, right? This kind of um, dual energy and so really good to enjoy this with Venus and we could just be thinking and communicating this way with Mercury as well Balance justice morality fairness things like this now that Venus is in good harmony this part of the week <clears throat> easing up off of a sextile With Saturn from Sunday, which means we still might feel a bit grounded and uh, maybe responsible with those relationships and enjoyments and values in life. But today Venus trines up to receptive Neptune. So there could be certainly some receptivity coming in in those relationships, maybe compassion, more accepting, again, unconditional, right? And so really good to incorporate that if you are guided to. Now on a more personal note, just you know, individually, uh, we could be feeling quite creative, quite imaginative. Um, this can also be a bit dreamy, 
right? Which is usually a bit easier to work with. So anything that does require imagination or creativity, for example, can also be really good to uh, cultivate. And Venus oftentimes just represents what we're enjoying. So it could be just simply enjoying Neptunian things, which are receptive things. Um, it's also spirituality, you know, sort of getting some rest, maybe some easygoing energy, flow energy, uh, things like this, very supportive here today. So uh, that's the collective energy. We can uh, choose or choose not to work with it, but it is certainly supportive and easier to work with, relatively speaking. All right, everyone, so that's the day in a nutshell. Very simple, definitely some um, synergy here between our enjoyments and receptivity, our relationships and receptivity, all in the context of valuing a little bit more about balance, fairness, reciprocity, communicating in this way. The larger context is still that of improvement and doing the work as it's been for a very long time, over a month now with the fast movers in Virgo. Uh, but today, caring, protection, creating a safe environment for self and others, connecting to our feelings, the past, this kind of reflective energy, uh, really good to cultivate today. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast. Take care.